Hey folks, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and today I'll be showing you a couple of things. First of all, I'll be covering Clean ROM 2.5. Secondly, I'll be showing you 100 wallpapers available um, by Scott. He has uh, compiled um, a zip file that has 100 wallpapers, HD wallpapers available for you, which I'll be including the link, of course, down below in the description. Then I'll be covering just some basic uh, benchmarks. And lastly, I'll be showing you how to install and set up the supercharger script on your tablet. This will completely optimize the launcher that you have set up on your tablet. So first of all, the Clean ROM 2.5, what you will notice is that it is able to overclock to 1.6 gigahertz, which is quite amazing, I have to say. And uh, battery life wise, I've just tried uh, 1.6 gigahertz for about a day or two. It isn't it isn't as bad as I expected. I thought it would have killed my battery life completely, but actually it could run at 1.6 uh, quite nicely without killing the battery life. Uh, in terms of why it is minimum at 1.6 as well, it's because of the benchmarks. I want to get a best um, benchmark rating possible. I've also set the scaling to performance, and that's what I use to do the benchmarks. For the wallpapers, uh, I have just downloaded the zip, extracted it, and this is just a quick highlight of what they have. Uh, so there's a bunch of nature shots and a bunch of abstract wallpapers. You can always take a look, install whichever one you want, whatever you don't want, just delete it after. I mean, they had quite a lot of choice, which I was, um, which I did like, and they're all in great uh, HD quality. So it looks really nice once you set it on your tablet. That's the second part of this video. Third part is the benchmarks. But before I actually show you the results, I want to show you what I have on my tablet first. Benchmarks normally work when you first uh, flash, you have a fresh install, that's all you have is just the ROM and then you run your benchmarking apps. But I have a lot of junk on here because uh, I've been using the same tablet for a long time, have always done titanium backup, so I always have my, um, you know, all of my apps that I always have and all the data. So just quick overview here of a couple of games, Broken Sword, Dead Trigger, uh, moving on, I have Indestructible, Nova 3, Shadow Gun, and I have the Dark Knight Rises. They're all games that are 500 to 1.2 gigabytes in size once installed. So that makes the tablet really, really heavy. And this will make the the, the um, benchmark results slightly um, off. So just take this with a grain of salt. This is my tablet running at those. I will be able to make another benchmark perhaps next week when I have a clean install and I'll show you the difference in terms of benchmarking. So just a quick overview of my tablet in this current state. It's able to get um, 1300 as you can see right there, uh, 3100, and uh, it, which is pretty decent. I mean, in terms of uh, matching up to the Transformer Prime and the HTC One X. But if you have overclocked it to 1.6, you can guarantee that you will be able to beat those devices easily once you have a clean install of course moving on to Antutu benchmarks which I have somewhere here I got about 7,000 Scott got about 14,000 that's when he benchmarked it on a clean you know clean Scott ROM install and that's what he got so I got a pretty decent rating um, if you take a look at the breakdown over here um, one second once it loads there you go this is just a breakdown in terms of scores and uh, pretty good there on the CPU and it was slow for this 2d graphics but again it caught up nicely on the 3d graphics database IO is really low because of of course all the games that I have set up on this tablet now lastly we have the Velomo which is uh, for HTML5 browsing and just uh, future browsing technologies and we actually did quite great in their third position uh, for our device for browsing. Now lastly I'll be showing you how to set up the V6 uh, supercharger script by Zeppelin Rocks. This is by far the most amazing thing made for tablets. This completely optimizes uh, your launcher. So this works on tablets, on phones, whatever you have set up. And it doesn't matter if you have gingerbread, froyo, ice cream sandwich, jelly bean, it will still work perfectly on all of those uh, versions. So to do this you will need two apps. Uh, you will need BusyBox which has a list of commands which is needed to run this script. Right there as you can see BusyBox. Next up we will need Script Manager which is the app that will run the script itself. So right there just download the first one you see. Add, add version is fine. We just need something to run the script. 
Now once we have those two, we will download the script available on the um, XDA forum. I'll include the link down below. It is with the extension PDF, but it is not an Adobe PDF. So you cannot really open it with Adobe Reader, but that's the format. So if you take a look at um, Solid Explorer, let me just get that open here. My file browser here. Uh, I copied it uh, just to my default directory, which is, uh, where are you? There we go, V6 for Android. This is version release candidate uh, 10, I believe, as you can see right there. And that's that's the latest version that's available and that's what I'll, I'll be using for this uh, video. So moving on, we will go to uh, BusyBox first of all to install all of, the, all of the commands. It will prompt you for root, just accept. Once this smart install is done, hit install. Um, I'm just gonna go through it quickly. Hit install should prompt you up to do a normal or a smart install, and just install, and then you should be all you should be golden. So there you go. Thank you for installing BusyBox. It has been installed. We go back to the app drawer, and we will move straight on to the script manager, which should be around here somewhere. One second, read script man oh there we go s manager ads this is the um free version the file browser on here is kind of kind of clunky but um just put in an area that you will know so i just copied it straight to the um root of my sd card and i can just see right there v6 supercharger not too sure let me zoom in for you guys um if you can see it there not too sure if that's clear enough but that's the name of it and I'll be clicking on it in a second. All right, and once I have clicked, you will be brought to this page, and make sure to select root over oh, there, SU. Select SU, and then we will hit run. So let me just zoom out again, right there. So I made sure that SU is checked, and then I'll click run. And there you go, this is running the script right now. As you can see, there's a virtual keyboard that's on the screen. This does work pretty fast. It will test your busy box, it will test your root. And uh, what I have to tell you guys is to be quite fast when this uh, comes up. You will need to run this twice. You run it first to see the list of options, and then you'll run it a second time to actually choose the option. I use option nine, which is an aggressive um, setup. This really makes it silky smooth. I mean, it's just incredible once you do have it set up. But uh, you guys read all the options, read all the descriptions of those options, and then choose the one that matches for you. Um, I'll just um, uh, wait actually until the whole thing begins, and uh, then you'll be able to see how it works. Pretty simple. Press the enter key right now. I'm going to press enter on the keyboard here, and it's going to go on. Uh, what is great is he does give a lot of uh, wording, as you can see the hair rookie. Uh, he's going to give you a quick um, test drive and stuff. And I'm not too sure if you saw this from uh, from the top, but my default launcher is Tesla Coil, which is the Nova launcher. So what this does is it works on the default um, launcher that you have set up. So if you have the stock launcher set up, it will work on the stock launcher. So now I'm just going to press enter again, and it's going to give a bunch of options. So I'm just going to go straight to nine, and I'm going to hit enter. and it should be going through scrolling speed let me just go with number two here actually let me try number two again hit enter and just let the script go on it will keep on going on for quite a while where you can include um, where you can make your selection and uh, there's just a bunch of tweaks in the script so really run it the first time just to give an overview um, on what that you need and uh, okay actually right here I'm just gonna go the yes and uh, just go through the actual um, app uh, the actual script it, it will pile up with a bunch of options so just wait until they ask you to enter one uh, from option 2 to 33 I use option 9 so just choose uh, whichever one that works for you and we'll be back once uh, this has finished And 
we're back. This is uh, currently running the number nine that I chose. It just takes a lot of uh, you know work for the script to go back to the initial point, and now it is just backing up some settings. It will apply the 1000 HP super unleaded min free setup that I have here, and it will run the script until uh, it will reboot the tablet, and you should be good to go. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And I'm back, the script has run, and um, it didn't reboot by itself, I believe that option has been removed. You will need to wait until it goes back to the menu, press 33 to exit, and then manually reboot your tablet. And this setting should stay each time you boot up your tablet, you should be having the supercharged launcher. Um, and uh, yeah, that's roughly it, that's how the charger works. I hope you liked the video, please do like, comment and subscribe, we really appreciate it. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account and a Twitter, add us there as well. Thanks.